Kubernetes version 1.26 major theme change in container registry service which is registry.kats.io and if you go to the Kubernetes latest blog and Kubernetes 1.26 was released on December 9th 2022 and its name is electrifying this is the release theme and logo and under the major themes change in container image registry so this is in 1.26 but if you go back one step in kubernetes 1.25 which is in combiner august 2022 it was released under the major themes right moved container registry service from kts.gcr.io to registry.kts.io so this registry moving started in 1.25 itself and for that i have created detailed video whoever is watching the first time please do subscribe my channel which is learn with gvr and please do watch this video for the more details of this particular change now in 1.26 what exactly changed so if you go back two steps back in 1.24 and you try to see the control plane images which is resides in a cube system namespace all the images are pulled from kits.gcr.io right all the cube api server cube proxy cube scheduler etc etc this is in 1.24 and 1.25 this registry is completely changed and registry.kts.io just only a url change right as a technically but in 1.26 also the same there is no difference between 1.25 and 26 in the registry but what exactly the changed so in before 1.24 the actual registry was kts.gcr.io which is google cloud based google container registry and kubernetes 1.25 onwards registry.kts.io the new registry is being used but before 1.25 the whatever the images control plane specific images those images were getting deployed in the google container registry and as well as a new registry as well why because they wanted to maintain both the two and from 1.26 onwards only tags will be deployed into the new registry and this particular registry is not being used anymore for the 1.26 onwards it's purely so this is the actual change so only the tax onwards it will be used so right now so if you look at the old registry which is kits.gcr.io what exactly it is just to recap so google container registry which is one of the registry where which will basically it same like a elastic container registry azure container registry it's a container registry where all the kubernetes specific images were stored since the kubernetes is invented by the google so google is basically donated given the their container registry to use by the over the world which is americans and europe and swiss region and asia pacific region all the regional kubernetes downloads are were being pulled from google container registry which is this is so there was a what is the disadvantage with this is too much egress cost and they wanted to save the cost because this container registry resides in us or somewhere but if asia pacific or swiss and any other location is being pulled means there will be a network cost egress cost so all the egress cost who has to bear google has to bear and kubernetes is an open source so if you look at the ccnf news on the june 2021 right google is committed to uh, basically recommitted 3 million dollars to 3 million worth service to the kubernetes since it's open source so means like a google is bearing this particular whatever the egress cost etc now and after that kubernetes come into the uh, kubernetes ccnf landscape they, uh, they decided and there are a new uh, providers are joined 
where the registry.kts.io which works like a CDN content to deliver in network which is a new uh, kind of a strategy where this will point to Google Cloud where the backend is Google Container Registry or Google Container Service and also recently AWS is also joined in this particular uh, contribution and AWS is storing the images in S3 right and other cloud providers like azure and etc yet to join but so far only these two guys only but how it works is this works like a cdn content delivery network right american region or europe or swiss or asia pacific so these users will be hitting this registry.kts.io to pull the kubernetes control plane images but whereas Th this particular request will go to the nearest edge location if it is you are being pulled from india india nearest edge location will be hit it won't because the whereas the network cost will be very less and the fast right so and how it works under the hood is this registry.k8s.io this will call internally a oca proxy which is under the hood that OCA proxy will have a secure blob redirector that will take care of to go what is the nearest cloud what is the nearest uh, the blob is available this will be taken care internally it's something like uh, the website which is being accessed from the different regions that's what the this new registry.k8s.io and if you look at the world map with respect to AWS edge locations right this is India and here is a Singapore, Australia, US, Canada, etc. This is Europe. This is a South Africa, etc. So here, if you are being pulled from India, this blue dot is edge location. So nearest location, the image will be pulled. If the Europe guys is pulling, means the all the images will be pulled from this location. If here the guys, here, here, here. So it there will be a, what are the benefits? You are going to the closest server, and the faster download of what kubernetes control plane images and if you go to the here it's a 126 right kubectl get pod output as a image name when i hit enter right so the registry.k8s.io so i have installed in my mac which is a vagrant cluster right these images are being pulled from the nearest edge location so the closer the server faster the download and another benefit is reduce the an operational cost if the kubernetes control plane images are stored in somewhere and you are pulling from the somewhere there will be a huge network cost which is operational cost uh, they wanted to reduce and other one is a multiple cloud providers so why the cloud providers are in the picture means with respect to the traffic all over the world AWS has a huge market and AWS is decided to contribute and store the all the Kubernetes control plane images into the their local S3 buckets and these S3 bucket will be used across the world with the AWS CDN and that will be taken care in this particular URL now container registry service in the CKA what we learned is whenever you do the kubeadm init and provide all the parameters so by default the image repository will be taken as a registry.k8s.io means we won't be specifying this but by default it will take and if you go to the kubernetes documentation kubeadm init right and hyphen hyphen image repository right here default is registry.k8s.io choose a container registry to pull plain images from you don't specify and automatically it will be taken pulled from this particular url and which is a default as we have seen the documentation and what it will pull all the control plane specific images like a kubeadm images etc etc don't want to use this and you wanted to use your own yes that is also possible while kubeadm init hyphen hyphen image repository and prepare one config.yaml file which is cluster configuration and image repository whatever the image repository you can put and kubeadm in it will take care so this entire section is talking about the control plane images 
will be pulled from this particular registry but whereas every worker node will have a cubelet right if you have a thousand worker nodes every worker node will have a cubelet that cubelet will take care of the pod creation etc but while creating a pod it will internally use a pod sandbox base image which is a pos container right and regarding the pos container i have created a detailed video in my channel and whoever is did not watch please go and watch so this pos container will be taken care by the cubelet and that pods container also will be pulled from registry.kts.io slash pos.3.6 and by using this is the what the parameter and go to the documentation cubelet documentation right pod infra container image so this is the what the and the default value is this is a registry and if you wanted to override yes you can go and override it what we know is cubeadm will take care of this pulling this images right so cubeadm configuration how to see that so i am in a master node i am ssh into the master node and here if you type a just cubeadm so the cubeadm utility is already installed whenever you provision a given its master node then these are the commands and if you wanted to know the cube adm images right here uh, cube adm config images list so whenever i type this cube adm where cube adm have a configuration that configuration will point to all this images so these are the registries internally it will use and that's what the this command cubeadm config images list this will tell you and also whenever you uh, wanted to know the cubeadm in it what are the defaults right and these are the default so and the command is just clear cube cubeadm config print in it defaults so whenever you do the cubeadm in it right and there is a vagrant cluster i have provisioned right here cubeadm in it right so whenever you do this command during the init these are the defaults will be taken uh, by the system so these are the default and if you closely observe image repository this is the what the image repository if you wanted to change during the cubeadm in it you just need to over also cubeadm join specific default configuration we can see by using this particular command now i wanted to see cubelet configuration so how to see that just the quickest way is right like the graph for cubelet so the cubelet configuration is this is the what the cubelet configuration right if i say cat and cubelet configuration so this is the cubelet configuration so in the cubelet configuration itself you can as a previous slide pod infra container image right here you go there and in this particular yaml pod infra container image you can change if you wanted to really override so this is the what the uh, the cubelet specific right and that's it for this particular session point of view and for the documentation point of view i have referred the kubernetes blog and this is the what the the main page and as well as also i have referred the whatever the links given over there and this this is github page and the registry.kts.io and uh, this is so all other links i have followed and please keep watching this space for the more kubernetes videos thank you and whoever has did not subscribe subscribe like comment share and everything thank you for your support thank you bye bye